welcome to the second day of summer and to our breakfast. We're thrilled to see you here today. You see, I've got my kids with me. Public care is such a hassle, so I can drop them with me. Now, one more question for you. I'm going to go right down the road. What would you like to be when you grow up? I'm a doctor and an astronaut. That's a double major. Doctor and an astronaut. What would you like to be? A firefighter like my daddy. What do you want to do when you grow up? Climbing it. Okay, well, let's start practicing right now. You can climb that curtain. Oh, you're going to be a worker, you're going to build. An engineer, maybe an architect. What do you think, Neil? What do you want to do when you grow up? Special Olympics is that the idea that uh, their services and education and acceptance of all students, all children, all people. And a lot of times in our society, we tend to forget about folks with disabilities because we focus on the disabilities and not on the abilities of, of these young people. And so the thing that was really inspiring to me about Encompass uh, when I came into the tour was that they had words like acceptance, belonging, uh, all children succeeding, uh, and then also working with early intervention to create a pathway for these young people to have success. This is, this is allowing for these people to be seen, and that's a big part of it. So thank you for having me, and uh, enjoy your breakfast. I love being bad. We had other kids and so we knew the drill. Uh, and for the first couple of months, everything was totally normal. And then we started noticing that just wasn't growing up the way our other kids did. As parents, we looked for these milestones, like crawling and walking and talking. And you know, Gus, she didn't do any of those when she was supposed to do that. And over the next year, we watched as she slowly fell behind everybody else her age. When she was three years old, Encompass referred us to Seattle Children's, um, where she was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. And now we finally knew what we were up against. Right? We had information. We met people who understood us. You know, we realized that we weren't alone. 
That gave us hope. And that's when we call it Encompass. You know, Encompass, we've signed a uh, dress up for therapy with Encompass. She goes to the speech therapy at Encompass, for speech therapist, over there. Works with her on speech and language and communications. She uses toys and she uses stories and incorporates that into the therapy. And uh, it makes it so much fun for my daughter. We've watched as her vocabulary has blossomed and her communication skills have made such a big difference since she started therapy at Encompass. Just a month ago, I went to a meeting with her teacher at school, and her teacher shared with me an evaluation. And this was an evaluation of her ability to create a story, her own story, based on just pictures. Uh, this was an official evaluation, so the teacher had to write down exactly everything she said. I saw the evaluation, and I saw poetry. And I will always refer to that evaluation as the four-step picture card poetry slam. <laughs> And I'd like to share her poem with you. I will recite it. <laughs> Pooped the egg. <laughs> it cracked the egg. The chick popped out. And number four is the chick. Look, it's cute. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>